Hey y'all, Big Tim here. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Old School and Bass with Big Tim. Today we're going to talk about something that's pretty dear to my heart. You guys know you've seen me fish them. I love smally beavers. Something along that size. I actually really got excited about a couple new purchases. Basically some smally beaver sized baits. Uh, and I wanted to talk about them and compare them. So what got me excited to start the video was... Uh, you guys saw once before a friend of mine had given me some riot baits. These are called the little fuzzies. And uh, I have yet to use these, the small ones, but I'm real excited about them. They have a lot of little appendages on them. Another thing that got me excited was a friend of mine had these uh, when we were fishing at Lake Cumberland and I just had to get some. These are the new Strike King Baby Rage Bugs. Now as you see in the picture here, I'm going to compare the sizes and everything else for you. So you can get an idea of which ones you like. But this is the one that really got me excited. The Guggen Baits. I call it the Baby Bandito. They call it the Bandito 3.3. I'm real excited. I've just got these. I have not gotten them in the water yet. I plan on doing a pool test to compare all the different beavers and how they look underwater and what they do. That'll be coming here shortly in a few weeks, but uh, I want to get this bad boy out and fish it first. So. What I did, and I don't know if we can see this, I've got a picture generated of it. But there's the size comparisons. Okay, there's also another one thrown in, a couple of them. This one's the Jean LaRue Biffle Bug. I don't know if they call it the Biffle Bug Junior or what, but um, it's something else I've used and really enjoy. This one is also a, a different kind of bait. It's obsolete now. I don't think you can get them. It's from Netmate. It's called the Baby Bee Bug. I really have used those a lot and enjoyed those. But we'll show you the picture, uh, still picture on this, so we can compare the sizes. The other thing to take into consideration, the Reaction Innovation. It's more of a subtle bait. This one happens to be hematoma. I always split the tails on them. They come with the tails together. Um, so this is going to be a very subtle presentation. Very subtle presentation. The Reaction Innovations Smalley Beaver. They come 10 to a pack for $4.99. And they will, like I said, be used in your very subtle presentations. The next one I just happened to grab is the Jean LaRue Small Biffle Bug. Biffle Bug Jr. Small Eight Biffle Bug. Now this has some appendages on it that kick off water and it's also got a hollow opening where you can put a rattle. So that's pretty cool. You can also score the legs off, you know, peel those off and use it as a standard beaver style bait. These, uh, with that kicking action from the legs, they're generally a lot less subtle bait. They put off a little vibration. So, and of course you can put the rattle in there and um, make some noise with it, which is really nice. The Biffle Bugs, the small ones, are eight in a package for $5.99. The next one I talked about was my net bait, bee bug or baby bee bug. Very similar to a beaver, the, the ribs are a little different and uh, also a very subtle presentation. It is the same exact size as a smally beaver, it looks very similar other than the ribs. Like I said, these are hard to come by. I don't think net bait makes these anymore. But they're a great little bait, and they used to come tend to a package, and they were fairly inexpensive. I can't remember how much. 
So if you can find some of those, they're a great alternative. Another one that I was getting excited about, this is the baby structure bug. And it's the smallest of all the offerings. And these little appendages can kick out some water. But it is definitely the smallest by far, just as a comparison. They're close, but this is a is smaller. The Strike King Baby Rage Bug. They come nine to a pack, and they're six ninety nine. The one I was really excited about, the Guggen. I call it the Baby Bandito Bug. They call it the Bandito 3.3. I can't wait to use this. This is going to be so exciting. It's got the four appendages, two on each side, and then the claws. It's going to move some water. Uh, there's no hole for rattle. Boy, that would really be nice. But it's a thick enough bait where I could put a small worm rattle in here. And um, I think, I haven't put a hook to it yet. But given the size, I think I can use a bigger hook than I usually use with my Reaction Innovations. My Reactions, I generally use a size 1 or one uh Fusion. I can't remember which one, but it just barely fits it. And um, this one, I might be able to upsize my hook, which would be outstanding. So I'm really excited to try this bait. Also, the Guggens are 9 to a package for $5.99. So not bad. I do know that they're thin plastic, so they'll rip pretty easily, but that's what's gonna make them good. Last and certainly not least on the list is the Riot Baits. Little fuzzy. It's got uh, some water displacement on the uh, claws there. You actually, if you happen to watch the video where I went to the private pond, I used the bigger version of this. I have yet to use a small one, though. I'm excited to do it. It's got a lot of little appendages to move, and it will have water displacement. This one would also be an interesting jig trailer, you know, just because it's going to kick up a little water. The Little Fuzzy comes seven to a pack for $4.79. Like I said, we're going to have a pull test with all of these baits showing how they act under different conditions. Uh, I will be Texas rigging all of them. Um, that'll be probably happening in the next few weeks, a uh, couple of days where I can't go fishing, where I'm going to have some minor medical procedures. No worries. This is all routine maintenance, but uh, I won't be able to go fishing for a couple of days. So uh, I can hang out the pool and do this video. Uh, that'll probably be sometime in July, by the time I get it shot, hopefully to have it out by August. And uh, it'll be really neat to see how all these different baits look underwater. I'm going to use the same sinker, the same hook on all of them, so we'll get a real good comparison. Everything, size, the way they act. The only thing we won't be able to do is hear sound. I still haven't gotten that other GoPro. But anyway... Thanks for tuning in and uh, hope to see you the next time on Old School and Basil Big Ten.